everyone thank you for coming back to my channel i am janine Ari, and today i am going to do a something a little bit different i'm going to be talking about the 40 lessons that i've learned at 40 years old so if you may or may not know i am turning 40 this year and i wanted to share some valuable lessons that i've learned since I've been living on this earth for 40 years in my 40 years of living it's gonna be a two-part video I'm gonna do the first 20 here and then the second 20 on the part two because I didn't want it to go over too too long so if you're interested stay tuned and one of the lessons is just go ahead and subscribe and subscribe to the channel become a part of my family hit the notification bell if you want to see my posts if you want to be notified when I post and if you are interested in hearing um, the 40 lessons that I've learned at 40 stay tuned and let's get into the video number one is self-love is the most important concept that you will learn in life self-love to me means how you talk to yourself how you express to others and how you feel about you how do you feel about you that's important because if that's not right it will spill into everything in your life like everything girl god whatever please man please sir govern yourselves accordingly okay govern yourselves with self-love because if you don't it's it can be detrimental to, to you. So yeah, that's number one. Number two, I've learned the true value of time and not to waste it. Don't waste your time, period. It's too valuable. It's, it's, it's more valuable than money. Number three, not all friends are friends. Yes, they're your friend. Yes, you like to have fun. You guys connect. Some friends are just surface. And that's a surface friend and some friends are planted planted deep into your life and they are your friends forever know the difference between the two okay number four expectations are not reality stop expecting um, other people to do certain things that is just not in them to do period don't put your expectations that are unreasonable and some people put expectations on others that they wouldn't put on themselves I'm just saying but expectations are not reality so you have to allow people to be who they are and then you have to decide what you can do and how you're going to relate to them but don't put these unreasonable insurmountable expectations on people that you know that they cannot live up to they're human just like you number five is love is kind you don't have to fight for love and if somebody is truly in love with you or loves you it comes easily you don't have to go through this whole ride or die movement show and continuously prove yourself to receive love love is kind now relationships are hard yes love will never put you through in order to to try you or to, to, to test some type of loyalty about you. Um, number six, being vulnerable has value. We don't like for others to see our weakness or our vulnerability, but there are some things that we can learn much, much quicker and we can become stronger in much quicker had we let that guard down and let other people see our vulnerability. So for example, if I'm strong in one area and then if you're not strong in that same area, if you don't show me that you're weak in that area, how can I help you? You know, how can you learn from me? Of course you can observe me and everything like that, but how can we help each other if we're afraid 
to show who we are to each other. Being vulnerable has value. I'm not saying walk around with, you know, just wearing a t-shirt of your weaknesses. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that some people are super, super strong and I used to be one of them, okay? And that gets tiring because you can't do everything by yourself. All right, number seven, be humble, Kendrick Labar. Okay, number eight, you create the life that you want, period. You create it by your thoughts, your actions, and your deeds, period. Point blank, your words, the things that you speak, you create your own reality. And if you look around your life right now, and whatever is going on, you've created it. Number eight, let's talk about that. You create the life that you want by the things that you think, say, and do. So this is why prayer, meditation, journaling, all of those things are so important because if you write something down, it's going to come into fruition. If you believe it, if you think it, if you believe in what you're writing, it's going to come to pass. That's why you have to affirm yourself. You have to speak greatness to yourself. You have to think positive. They say positive thinking is everything. It is because you create your own reality and you create your own life. Number nine, fear is paralyzing and it robs you of your time, relationships, and ultimately it robs you of the life that you want. Fear is something that I've just continuously, every, every year I work on my fears. Try to analyze and look at your fears and then try to overcome them so that they don't hinder you from living the life that you want. Number 10, communication is listening. Listen to people, don't talk over people, learn how to communicate effectively so that your relationships can flourish. Communication is listening as well as speaking. You don't always have to have the last word, you're not always right, and yeah, you have to listen to what people are saying. If you ever had this happen to you where someone said something about you and then Two or three years later, a different person says the same thing about you. And then maybe three months later, somebody else says the same thing and repeats over and over. Because you're not listening. You're not getting it. And I'm not saying that you have to take and take everything that everyone has to say about you or to you. No. Toxic people, you know, to the left. If, if a person keeps saying the same thing that's been said to you over and over again, you have to take stock in that and you have to look at yourself at some point and listen to what that person is telling you so that you can become better. Number 11, stop comparing yourself to others. We all do that. I do that. You do it. Don't do it. You are exactly where, where you're supposed to be in life. I know other people's lives look so grandiose and all of those things, but you don't know what they're going through. You, you, you just don't know. And they may not be going through anything. Just be happy for them and move on. Number 12, learning how to be healthy is extremely important. And I mean learning how to be healthy for you. If you're predisposed to certain ailments, you need to kind of learn about those ailments, learn how to take care of yourself. Um, just exercising and um, exercising your mind, your body, and your spirit. All of those things are essential. Um, and I did not realize how big health was until I started getting older. Because, you know, at, when you're young, you just think you're invincible. Like, I'm not going to get sick. Oh, what? You got the flu? Or you have this? Or you have that? I'm never going to get that. Yeah, like now I wake up with aches and pains and I'm like, okay, I have to drill down on my health. Health is really important. All of that ties back into self-love, which is number one. Number 13, no one owes you anything. No one, no one owes you anything, not your parents. Number 14, you can overcome all things and move mountains if you have the faith to do so. Whether it is depression or abuse or anything, you can overcome things if you have the faith to do so. 
you may need help from outside resources, but you can overcome anything. Don't believe that you can't, because then you're already defeated. Number 15, consistency is important in all areas of life. I am struggling with this. Consistency is so important, y'all. You have to be consistent. You have to train yourself to be consistent if you're not a consistent person. Don't wait until you're 40 to start learning. Although, if you are 40 and over, you can start learning today. Um, but it's like a muscle. You have to train and build it. For me, at least, I am not a consistent person. And I feel like because of that, I have not accomplished certain goals and dreams and aspirations. Number 16, believe in yourself. Number 17, look at yourself before you place the blame on others. Don't go just willy-nilly placing blame on everybody and you ain't take no accountability or no blame for yourself. Number 19, understand the meaning and importance of friendships. That goes back to what I was saying, knowing who your true friends are. Um, but you know, you have to learn how to be a friend as well and understand what friendships are important to you and why they are important. Some people are friends for the wrong reasons. It's because like what you can do for me, I'm friends with you. So understand the importance of friendship and what that means to you. What is a true friend to you? Have you ever thought about that? What does, does that mean someone that you have to speak to every day? Or is it, it could be a true friend can be someone who you speak to every other year. How important is it for you to have true friends? If you find one or two friends, you're, you're golden. You know, everybody is not going to be your friend. Um, and I had to learn that some of my friends came in seasons. And I didn't understand the importance of friendship until much, much later in life to like now where it's like, dang, I know who my real friends are. And I have a new level of respect for them. So that was something that I had to learn later in life. Um, and I've met some really dope people in my life. Number 20, find out what's sacred to you and preserve that part of you for yourself. With everything that we share with others, um, whether it's through just talking and communicating or social media or TV, we share a lot of our lives through to, to, to the world. Um, there are some things that you are not going to see about me unless you know me. You're not going to find out all about my life through social media. You're just not. Um, and there are experiences that I live on a daily basis that no one would know about me because I don't share them on social media because they're a priceless moment. I live this moment, I want this moment, I'll take a picture of it if I want to, I'm not gonna share it with you, I'm not gonna share it with John Blow, Joe Blow. It's those moments that I, um, I go back to and I'm like, yeah, that made me happy or that was a blessing. You know, those priceless moments that only I know about that I don't share with the world. So that is it, guys. Those are my first 20 of my 40 lessons that I learned at 40. If you are interested in watching the video of the next 20, stay tuned and you can see that next. But tell me in the comments, what are some lessons that you've learned? Do you agree with some of the lessons that I've learned? Have these lessons helped you in any way? Let me know how you're feeling in the comments. Let's talk, let's have a discussion, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.